hey, 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 ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, what have I gone and done? Well, you can see by the title and the thumbnail that I've bought a motorcycle frame. That's right, a motorcycle frame. And I'm going to try and convert this motorcycle frame, which is a Yamaha FZS 600. I think they call it a phaser. I'm going to try and convert it into an electric motorcycle. So there's going to be a lot of chopping bits off, adding bits on, you know, cutting the tank out, all that sort of stuff. So I've just bought a frame at the moment. That's the starting project. So if you're interested and you want to follow along, then come and join me in my restoration. It's not a restoration. <laughs> it's a conversion. Anyway, come and follow me. Hoi! Okay, before I get going, uh, I just want to remind you that if you subscribe, you can follow along with my electric conversion of this bike. And uh, also, I do have a Patreon page if you feel like you fancy supporting this channel. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get going, I meant to say. And roll the old uh, cinematic montage. So before we get to use the grinder, there's a couple of small little jobs to do. Like this bit of thread that is sticking out and is uh, is seized into the frame. Now you can see whoever's taken the frame apart has gone to undo it and the head of the bolt has snapped completely off. Now, you could be tempted to get a pair of grips and try and undo it, but it's probably just gonna round it off and make it even worse. So, the best method I've found is uh, penetrating fluid and a bit of heat. So the next thing to do was to get the bearing races out of the frame and I tried using various uh, long tools to knock the race out but it it was no I couldn't get any purchase on it some frames are easier some frames are harder this turned out to be a hard one anyway you could purchase uh, this tool here I'll put it on the screen now uh, but I didn't want to spend any money on a tool which I was going to use just once so I made my own tool
So all I'm doing is I'm grinding away some material to create the lip that was on the tool. I'll show a picture of the tool again. Uh, obviously, the top of this tool has two lips. I'll only have one lip. <laughs> and one lip is better than no lips, so they say. Anyway, I'll show you the tool at the end of the grinding session. So you can see here, I cleaned this one up here. Uh, it's still got a bit of pit in, so it, it's just for now to tidy it up. But um, these two front things here in the frame, they take the worst of it. Because it's got all the waters and salts coming on it. So I'll, I'll tidy this one up by here as well. And you've got a little bit here, look. A little bit of surface rust there, a bit there. Some of you, another bit there. There's a little bit more here, but it's not. It hasn't gone through. Look, so it just needs tidying up. Um, what else is it? The sort of centre stands a bit sort of craggy. If that's the right word, it's not too bad. Um, and then down here we got we got a little bit of corrosion there and a little bit there. But like I said, the worst of it is. These, these two bits are the worst bits. So I'll tidy all these up. I mean, eventually I might have the frame all powder coated, but I just want to get rid of the rust for now. So let's tidy this bit up.
And so there you go, look, see, I've used the flappy disc and then I used the wire wheel. And you can see this was really rusty and it's looking pretty good now, isn't it? So I'll do that on every single bit. I'll try and flappy wheel it and then uh, cover the wire, wire brush. I think I might even get some of that um, rust converter stuff just to paint over it. Any pits, clean up any pits, you know, the little dinky bits with little bits of rust sit and hide. Um, stuff like this, I'll have to get some smaller, like rotary wire wheels to go on the, the old drill. So um, anyway, look, pretty good, isn't it? That was rusty and that was nice. Lovely. Okay, so there you are. So you may be asking, why didn't I buy maybe an accident damaged motorbike or maybe, uh, you know, a scrap one, one with a broken engine, a complete bike, save myself some hassle. But the thing is, um, there won't be any fairing at all on this bike when I build it. Uh, the back is going to be chopped off with a cafe racer style seat. Uh, I'm going to chop the frame by here and I'm going to chop it by there. And uh, I'll tidy it up later. Um, the wiring system is going to be completely bespoke. It won't be. I won't use any of the wiring loom whatsoever at all. There won't be no engine, no radiator. Uh, it's just there's so many things I won't be using. So um, the ignition system I won't be using. All the lights won't. I won't be using any any of the original lights. Uh, so it'll all be LED lights around it. So uh, that's the main reason why I, I didn't want to buy. Like a, a bike where I, I went and bought it and I took started taking the stuff off and the frame was rusted to bits. When I saw this frame on eBay, I could see that it was minimal rust and it was pretty good. So that's the reason why I didn't want to buy a whole complete bike. Bit of a pain in the bum because you've got to go searching for parts everywhere. So there is a pain in the bum. And in the next video, you'll see how much of a pain in the bum it is when I buy second-hand parts and they turn out to be a load of old shit. <laughs> So there we go then, that's my uh, electric motorcycle project on the, you know, that I got going. I just started. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos in the past, you'll know that I take quite a long time to do videos. They don't progress quickly. Uh, I go into a lot of detail on my videos. Some people may like it, some people may not. But uh, if you do want to follow along, then don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. T click, click the old... Uh, bell thing and I'll see you in the next one. Hoi! -ho